whether it's by your own design, an opponent's error, or a good old blessing from Harada's finger, you're going to catch the opponent back turn from time to time. If you have the awareness and speed in your actions, this can give you a massive reward. While nothing is generally blockable while back turned, they can try to turn around or act in ways which can disrupt what you're doing, or what you're doing might just plain whiff. So it's good to know what you can do and what you should do against each character. This video isn't looking at everything Nina can do on a back turned opponent, but it is looking at the most common options and showing how certain characters may be able to avoid said options. So, check it out. String is a pretty safe bet most of the time, with the 2D characters requiring meter to avoid it. And honestly, that situation being even worse for Eliza. Keep this in mind though, as it would be devastating to lose because of not tracking their meter. Master Raven has it pretty good here, but you can try to bait the parry by ending it the second hit, then performing another back turn punish. This is where things get really complicated and it's due to characters' stances and the hurtboxes around their legs. As every character has their right foot back, being off axis to the right makes the string much more consistent. Likewise, being closer when you start the string will boost the consistency on some characters, or at least make their punishment for avoiding it much lower as they'll have to block the final hit. For some characters, down forward 3-2, down 3-2 will only ever work if you are off axis to the right or if the opponent does a move that extends their hurt box. To be fair, for the majority of Tekken 7, down forward 3-2 was only plus 2 on hit and every character could avoid the string back turned. I also want to use this opportunity to again remind you that the punishment being seen in this video is based on the string being completed at range. The opponent has to be able to make the final hit whiff, otherwise they only get a 13 frame punish. First off, here are the characters that can enter a jump state to mitigate the damage by avoiding being launched. And now, let's look at the characters that can actually avoid the final hit. Akuma has way too many choices. Anyway, while they can't turn around to block the final hit, and attempting to do so will give Nina better combo potential, many characters still have pretty decent options they can use here. Just like the situation with down forward 3-2 down 3-2, this string is only available thanks to the buff to down forward 3-2 later in Tekken 7. Prior to this, it was possible to turn around and block the final hit, leaving Nina launch punishable. Please be mindful that any character can still turn around and block it when you're close to a wall. The ever-present exception to the rule is Master Raven, who can turn around and block it in any situation. Now you have seen some of the main options Nina has for punishing a back turned opponent, and how much variability there is in the cast for avoiding these options. Remember, just because a character can avoid your chosen option, doesn't mean that the opponent will. You could go for a less rewarding but guaranteed on everyone option such as 432, you could memorise who can avoid what from this video. Or you could just bite the bullet and hope the opponent doesn't know what their character can do to avoid what you're doing. What is your go-to option for a back turn punish? Do you think that will change based on this video? 
please comment below. I'm a friendly tree and thank you for watching my video. Please support me by checking out my other content and following the links below.